Girls Gang, it's your girl Sass, and I'm back with another video, a little ass video at that. I missed y'all so much. Y'all been gone. I've been gone for too long, but I'm back, okay? But I am back with an updated Q&A. Hopefully, my camera don't die. I'm going to be quick with this. I got some Chick-fil-A. I'm trying to hurry up and eat my Chick-fil-A. So, the first question. Um... I'll put it on my Instagram. My screenshot. Go ahead and watch. The first question is, what is your dream career? So I have a lot. I have a lot. My dream career, I would say, is to be my own boss. I'm trying to be my own boss. And I know that sounds cliche, but I want to have my own business. <clears throat> also, make my own schedule. Oh y'all. I want to be my own boss. I want to make my own schedule. I want to also mentor to the youth. Um because I had that um I was in a program where it was called Big Brother Big Sister in New Orleans years ago when I was about eleven or twelve. Um, they had the program and I got introduced to a big sister and the sister would, will basically, you know, check up on you, I guess, weekly or monthly visits where, you know, you talk about your grades, any updating things that happen, just like a mentor. And I want that, but the program, I try to look it up and I ask my sister because that's my, even though that was my sister through the program, that's my sister's sister now. Like, we are like that. My dream career. So basically, I told y'all I wanted to be my own boss also mentor because my sister we talk to this we talk to this day but when i asked her a couple of months ago about the big brother big sister program out here she said they stopped the program a couple of years ago um a few years ago a few years ago so whenever i decide to do it or further my career that's something I want to do seriously because I love doing it mm, 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 mm. but the next question it says are you ready for a winter I'm Mm -hmm. No, I'm ready for fall. So whenever fall comes, I love fall. I'm not a winter person. I don't like being cold. I hate being cold. I always get sick. I'm not a cold person. Um. Next question is, who is your favorite niece? Of course, my baby Mariah. That's my heart. My pride and joy, my soul, all that in between. My first little baby. She know because she left this question. But this video won't drop until Thursday. Today is today is Saturday. This video, no, this video won't drop till Thursday. And Thursday is the day I surprise my baby in New York. She not gonna see it until. Whenever she get home from school, if she watch it Thursday, but I'll be there before she get out of school and I'm doing a video, um, I'm doing a video surprising her. So stay tuned for that. And we're going to run it up in New York because that's where I'm going. My trip is this Thursday and I can't wait to see her. I can't wait to kiss her and hug her and love on her. Everything in between. That's my big little baby. And y'all already know. I can go on and on about her. But... Um, I just can't believe, I just can't believe, but the next question is, do you miss, do you miss high school slash being in a marching band or marching unit? I do miss high school. I loved high school. I loved everything about high school. When I talk to my patients about high school, I tell them like, if you really want to enjoy high school, join something or get involved, be involved in high school. That's the best, you know, 
Of course, classes can be boring. Of course, we don't like going to classes. But, but when you're in extracurricular activities, like me, and I did more than just dance. I was in DECA. I almost ran for homecoming, but around that time, it was too much damn mess going on with that. That stuff can get messy, y'all. Um, running for class, um, like class president, vice president, all that. But I advise y'all to join something if you think school is boring. Because I loved high school. I loved marching. I used to love getting called out of class to go like the pep rallies and stuff like that. Meet up in the sponsor room and do your makeup. Come to school with your Flexi Rising or Pink Curls. Go to the uh, sponsor office, put your uniform on, like your warm-up suit or your any suit. And we all take pictures, be cute, eat, and it's just like a, a unity, like a sisterhood. I love that. I love that. Like, I love unity in anything. Like, I like to feel united. I like to feel involved. I love that. Next question is, do you miss college? I do miss college. I don't miss the work. <laughs> I don't miss the work, kind of, sort of. College is hard, y'all. College is hard, and I feel like sometimes it can be a little unnecessary with the expenses. Because my last year and a half, I paid out of pocket for school. And I was telling my friend a couple of weeks ago that if it wasn't for the man up above, like, just watching over me and seeing my struggles and telling me to apply to all of these. That was right when COVID happened. I had to pay out of pocket. Luckily, when we when I had to pay out of pocket and COVID happened, we had to do an immediate move out and they had refunded us half of what we paid for the semester. So I think um I think per semester is like seventy five hundred. I think I got back maybe thirty five hundred. And it cut down. I didn't. I ended up not having to pay for that semester because I was asked out. And then the following semester, my senior year, I ended up applying for scholarships. Like they had a COVID nineteen scholarship. They had a uh, all kinds of scholarships that that you can apply for. And baby, that's what I was on. When I was on it. Any little thing helped. And I think I was working my first semester of my senior year. But my second semester, which was the year I graduated, I had I couldn't work because that was my internship and my internship was like a job. I couldn't do I couldn't work in do school internship. But I do miss college. I miss the parties. I miss the kickbacks. I miss dancing because I danced in college. I was looking at old videos last night. I was reminiscing like I always do. Um Next question is, y'all want a little tea. The next question is, are you dating? Um, I'm not dating. I I would love to date, and I am open to dating. But no, I'm not currently dating anyone, if that's the question you ask me. But I am open to dating. Y'all, when I say it, it's hard. Hold on. I hope I'm not getting this in my hair. I probably is. But when I tell y'all, y'all so real. When I tell y'all dating is hard right now, like it's so much. First of all, it's so much mental illness going on. It's so much diseases going around. It's so much crime going around. It's just you don't know people. Like it's like it's not the same. And it's like you have to try to figure out a person. Like I shouldn't have to go above and beyond to try to figure you out. Like a person demeanor. Like they just don't care anymore. They just 
it's sick these people are corrupt and sick and it's sad and that's why it's hard to date i encourage anybody that has a genuine a genuine good relationship and it's doable and you can work at it to do it because it's hard dating it's so hard and i've had several several guys came my way but i felt like one it was too forceful two they just ignorant or three they just wanted sex what's another one what's another one four they lack communication five they just immature six they have no seven whoever what six they have no sense of humor they don't know how to hold conversation they dry texting they seem like they interested but they're not interested i don't know what people motives is that's what i'm saying you never know what people motives is and i'm gonna keep it honest with y'all i'm gonna I, you know i'm gonna keep it real with y'all my last game i have tried the dating website i've tried it twice i tried it my <clears throat> i want to say my junior year of south at southern and it was okay but and there was one i think it was no i didn't meet him on that app but i don't know these dudes nowadays they just don't be like young men or men like they just act hideous that was one and then this time i tried it a couple of months ago because my co-worker was telling me that she had made she found her husband on tinder and she just will always talk about him. And they recently got married in Paris. I think about, I want to say February they got married. Or more, January, February, January or February they got married. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, so I tried to try it again. Because I was like, Dang, maybe, you know, maybe I'm looking in the wrong areas or something. I'm going to try to expand it. I tried it. And I got about three, three, y'all. That's for another story. That's for, that's another story time because I can go on and on. Okay. Next question is, what is your everyday morning routine? To keep it real with y'all, what y'all saw a couple of videos ago with my morning routine, that's basically what I do. Sometimes I don't do the scrub. Sometimes I do when I have time. Like the last couple of days, I've been doing it. I usually don't do it. Sometimes. Sometimes I don't do it. If I'm rushing, I don't do it. But. Mm, but. I basically. Set my alarm the night before. I get up. Brush my teeth. Use the bathroom. Brush my teeth. Um, after I brush my teeth, I do the print, the uh, cleanse. I do that for about three or four minutes, like the whole process altogether. I air dry my face, put on my work clothes. Most of the time, every every time is really is scrubs. So, put on my scrubs, put on my shoes, socks. Um, do something to my hair if I have to. If I don't, that's fine. After all of that. I put the um the 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 um the cleanse. I put the the daily moisturizer on after you know I do everything and I let my face air dry good enough. I put the daily moisturizer on, put deodorant on, perfume. I do about three or four perfumes. I grab my lunch and my breakfast, and I'm out the door. That's what I do. You know, to sum it all up, that's what I do. I may have to vlog it, but it's pretty boring. It's pure. It's pretty boring. Um, next question is, do you have a crush? No, I don't have a crush. I'm not crushing on anyone. I did have a crush. I did have a, I, man, <laughs> I had a couple of crushes. I had a couple of work, like eye candies. One quit. And then the other one, I moved from the job. And then it just made it fucking weird um, at that job. And then I had a guy that I was talking to from the dating on website. He was very handsome, like, oh my gosh, like, I thought it was going to be something. But see, when you think, when you start thinking too fast and shit, shit just go left. <laughs> and that was that. But we still follow each other, and I can still look at him. 
But that's not my crush. It's just somebody I think that's cute. But we don't talk. Since he was dry, and he was the ones that was like interested. Let me get to Instagram. We're gonna check. We're gonna we're gonna chat it up. We're gonna do this and this. And then we exchanged numbers. So he got my Instagram and we started texting. No. From the app, we got each other number, and then from the number, he asked me for my Instagram. And once he was on my Instagram, he was liking a couple of videos, pictures, watching my story, putting hard eyes, and then all of a sudden it stopped. It stopped. He'll do it every now and then, but it's not the same. And it started being dry, texting. I don't got time. I feel like he wasted my time and time I don't have. I don't. I don't. I will cut a nigga off in a quick fucking second. I promise I would. I don't got time for that. Like, I feel like you're wasting my time. I don't like that. Okay. Next question. What is your next vacation? Oh, your next vacation. Like I told y'all, my next vacation is New York. I'll be in New York on the 22nd of September. This is coming. This video is coming out September 22nd. Um, that. But I want to do one more with my friend, but it's all over the place. If I if we do one with my friend, then that'll be Tennessee before she leaves. But I don't know. Uh, the next one is, next question is, are you moving soon? Y'all, I'm trying to get certified. Once I get certified, I am moving. I am moving next year when my lease is up. My lease is up next year in March, the end of March, early April. And I talked to the leasing office last, yes, last week, a couple of days, a couple of days ago. Um, because this video is, sh it, I am filming this video on a Saturday. I talked to them about I want to say Tuesday and talk to them about like when my lease is up if I move what do I do and how soon do I need to put in notice and stuff like that so that's in the work but where I'm moving is what y'all should want to know and I'm not telling you guys I'm not telling y'all just yet until I know for sure and until I know for sure I ain't telling y'all. All right. Three more questions. Any collabs? Um, I I do want to collab when I move. Or even not, if not move, like, I do want to collab. But, y'all, it's so hard. It used to be a little easier back then. A little bit more flexible back then when I was in college. You know, college, you make your own schedule. I was doing work study, so work study, it, it was easier. Like, I have a legitimate job. Like, I have a career job. Like, this is like, this is, a, this is like when I graduated and I got a degree in something, this is my current job. Like, I am a therapist. And my job sometimes consists of working eight, nine days straight off. I have to request off. I only get two days off. But I ain't gonna lie, I got a bomb ass boss. I got a bomb ass director and I got a bomb ass supervisor and bomb ass coworkers all together. But it's just hard right now, y'all. It's hard. I love my job. I love what I do. Sometimes it can be a little tired. I, I can be a little tired sometimes like I am right now. There's no point in hurry to do this video. But I love what I do. Um, So collabs, we working on it. We working on it. And if, if y'all want me to collab with somebody, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget, when y'all comment down below, make sure y'all tell me what part of the video that y'all like. So I can know, so y'all can engage with me and I can engage with y'all because I like the video. I like y'all comments. You know, I talk to y'all in the chat. So let's, you know, you know. Um, What and who, what slash who keeps you motivated? What keeps me motivated is my goals. Um, and God. Um, praying and knowing that like i have came so far with just praying and manifesting and grinding and not giving up like my my own like my goals 
but who keeps me motivated is like i said god is number one my my dad and my mom even though we not that close but um uh, my, my my me and my dad is close but we kind of like distance each other like we kind of like i don't know i don't know and my mom is we not that close but i want to be um so them two my friends most of all my nieces and my guy kids like those my little babies like those are my kids they my kids <laughs> kids i didn't have but i go above and beyond for them their parents don't have to tell me or ask me because i'm gonna automatically do it because i feel like that's my job they wouldn't have made me a godparent slash auntie you know if you know they didn't feel like they trust me enough or wanted my energy around their kids so that's one oh so that's you know who keeps me motivated um last question is any kids like i told y'all y'all know if y'all look at my instagram if y'all follow me on instagram which is it will be right here in the bottom but my instagram is at the gorgeous underscore sassy two underscores after that and i have another one which is the life of space sassy that will be in the description below too um the life of sassy is more of my like youtube but y'all i be mostly on my the, the gorgeous sassy page like i don't know but the life of sassy is more for like youtube but i'm still trying to gain that gain that gain that but um as y'all can see on my instagram y'all know that i'm always around kids in the previous question i said i want to mentor mentor kids or youth and then at my job i have the my unit um for the therapist is the adolescent unit which is the 13 through 17 even though they give me a little rope for my money but i love the kids i love kids i worked at a daycare i don't know something about kids that i really really like and I, of course, I want some of my own. Like, I really want, I want two or three. Like, I want my own kids. Like, that's something I really, really want, y'all. I really want. Like, and I know people are like, oh, you know, you don't want kids. Don't say that or don't speak too soon. But I already know it's worth, y'all. I know that it's worth. I got a little challenge when I had my godchild for a month. And that was a small challenge. She was, you know, a little handful because she was active, but I liked it. She kept me on my toes. She kept me doing stuff. She wanted me. I, I wanted to teach her. I wanted, wanted to better her. I wanted to make her feel loved, make her feel happy. We would have, like, we would have movie nights sometimes. We also would do um, flashcards. Um, then she, at one time she went by my cousin's house, and my little cousin downloaded Roblox, and she always wanted me to show her. Then she started, I can tell that she was one of those kids that like affection and doesn't get it a lot. Um, and I had to talk with her mom about that, but um, I can tell that she was one of those kids. So, you know, she will always be under me. She will uh, just want me to do everything. Like, like when she's taking a bath, she want me to sit there by her. When she's laying down, she want me to hug her. Um, or when she's going to school, she want me to pick her up like treat her like a baby and i'm like oh, no you're not a baby baby you are five going on six you about to be six and i cry i cry like a big ass baby for her birthday um the night of her was it the night of her birthday or was it the night after and i just couldn't believe she was like six because you know when you be around a kid that was not even thought of to being alive being born and you watch them grow you watch them you teach them things like words and how to love and how to say i love you like i think i taught i taught her i, I taught her how to do so much y'all and i cried y'all but to sum it all up to sum it all up yes i want kids i love kids I love everything about them. They talk your head off, but come over here and talk my head off. I want to know what you learned, what you did today. Like, talk to me. Talk, like, I just love that, y'all. 
But that's all I have for the updated Q&A. If y'all want more, let me know. Um, this video probably is long as hell. But I miss y'all. And yeah, so I'm going to finish this last little bite of this sandwich and drink my drink. I'll finish my Thank you.